Hey there. Yesterday my student Jonathan came to me and he said to me, Vaughan, I need to pitch the ball. These little shots with my wedges, these 40, 50 yard shots where I'm using my wrist, I'm hinging my wrist. Just tell me what I have to do to ensure good contact, to guarantee good contact. He said to me, I know it's difficult and I know I have to practice hours, but I love practicing and I've got enough time to practice, but show me what I need to focus on to, to hit the ball well under pressure. I'm going to tell you in this video what I showed Jonathan and I think it's really helpful for you too. It's just one or two simple little points and try focus on them. I assume that you know how to address the ball, ball in the center, feet pretty close together, slightly open, foot uh, leading foot slightly turned open as well, weight on both feet or slightly left. And then we make a slight hinge of the wrist on the back swing. I like to hinge my wrist that way, or my left thumb upwards, uh, and I do not want my students to rotate too much because from here you've got to rotate on the way back and that's difficult. I just like hinging up and hinging down, just making this move. And that way I know that my club face stays straight the entire swing. Okay, those are just small little points. Important though is the following. The position of your sternum opposed to the ball is essential. So at address you want this, this point to be directly opposite the ball. And then during the swing, we do not want this point to move backwards. Essential is what happens in, during impact, that this point is opposite the ball or slightly forwards of the ball. So if you do that, you're almost guaranteed of hitting the ground where your sternum is. Okay, but you have to make sure that this shoulder, your if you're right-handed, your right shoulder remains where it is. You do not want to lower the shoulder too much because look what happens with my sternum. It moves backwards. Okay, so try and keep your form and try and, and make sure that your sternum stays centered or moves slightly to the left. And then the last point, once you've hit the ball, try and get into this position. The shaft and my shoulders form a 90 degree angle. Now, if I'm able to get in that position, then I, I'm almost surely going to be in the correct position when hitting the ball. If this is my end position on the follow through, then I'm probably going to be in this position during impact. And by the way, this isn't good as well. A lot of golfers try and keep their hands in front, but that's so dangerous because it's so easy then for the leading edge just to get stopped by the ground. So you want to release this angle to this point. So those are the main points. And now I know when I pitch the ball, I'm going to have ball um, ground contact. First the ball and then the ground. And really the lie doesn't really matter. This is quite wet today, but I know I'm hitting ball and then ground. Okay, here's a slow motion of the movement. You can have one more look at it. And I really think those are guarantees which you really need to train. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Golf Beginner World. It was great having you here.